What's going on, everybody? My name is Kennedy Tonight, and this is The Night Dimension. And today, I'm going to be doing four grams of magic mushrooms in nature, and I'm going to be recording it so I can show you guys, or take you guys along the journey. Maybe I started drinking some of the shake already. Who knows? <laughs> That's my babes. So I've officially started drinking. Uh, it's a shake. Oh, that's awesome, my babes. It's yeah. 3.30, 3.38 right now, just to uh, keep time. So 3.38 is when I drank it, and I'm going to keep you guys along with the time. So I just want to let you guys know that today I have fasted for about, I don't know, six, seven hours. I had like a piece of chicken, and I think I had a little glass of Diet Coke, just because that was the only caffeine I could find. But besides that, I'm on basically an empty stomach. So uh, this may kick in pretty soon. I haven't drank the whole entire shake, but yeah, I'll let you guys know when I'm finished drinking it. So as you guys can see, uh, the beginning of my mushroom trip has already started off pretty darn good. <laughs> I'm not feeling it yet, but we're, but we're here. Well, I'm kind of, kind of feeling something. Up to hill we go. Dave did four grams of mushrooms. Okay. We're gonna go to a mountain. <laughs> All right, so what's up, everybody? Um, I wouldn't say that I'm fully high right. Oh God, there's definitely vibrations that are happening on the laptop right now. Oh my. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely uh, that stuff's definitely happening, and uh, so I'm probably not gonna get very much footage of me walking from where we are to the spot. Um, but uh, when I do, I'll let you guys know what's good. But definitely yeah definitely on something <laughs> so <laughs> i'll catch you guys next or i'll catch you guys next or i'll catch you guys something next time next time or, yeah. next, next time next my girl is distracting hi baby hi baby <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> Life is just so beautiful. It's like really. <sighs> it's like you can't put it into words. But this is so much better than Disneyland. Because in Disneyland, you're like forced to listen to all the people around you. While here, it's like people just walk by and say hi. Everybody's just doing their thing. So. Ooh, I thought that was like shit, but it's not. <laughs> I don't know, it might be. <laughs> Stuff, sand or dirt? It's sand. <laughs> I this is important, I guess, mm -hmm. but <laughs> I'm just really happy right now, guys. Uh, we're just kind of stopped, and I'm just super happy, like. I'm just really happy. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Come with you with some bigger things. <laughs> All right, see you guys. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's working. <laughs> Four grams of fucking mushrooms. It better works. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it better works. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily. English, but <laughs> 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 
He'll be like, bro, I thought I was supposed to communicate with super intelligent aliens, not forget how to speak English. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of an interlude. I'll come back at you guys later. Look at this perfect sand, guys. Wow. <laughs> it's yeah, not sand, exactly. it's concrete. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like literal rock underneath. It's oh, only yeah. sand for like a couple... <laughs> I did it for the video and it wasn't... Hey. <laughs> no way to be, guys you want, but don't be poopies. Too much avoid the poopies. Oh my god. Alright, so. Oh shit, I've already recorded, so. Give me one second, guys. So I had something that I wanted to share with all of you guys, but I completely forgot. Um, and <laughs> I think I'm just gonna wander. I think I'm just gonna wander and admire how beautiful nature is uh i just can't believe how beautiful life is and the state that we're what we've done to it it's just uh, it's crazy but i'm gonna go back to looking around and i'll be back with you guys i'll catch you guys later hi babe <laughs> you look I'm cute. <laughs> yeah. Man. Technology's trippy, though. <sighs> I'll tell you guys that technology is trippy. Especially the internet. The freaking internet. <laughs> the fact that I can talk to you guys right now, and some of you guys might be out in, like, another country. That shit never... What the fuck? Alright, I'm done. I'll be back. Just don't hit me, kind of throw it over my head. Oh, watch out, there's a bunch of... What'd I say, guys? You can be anything you want in life, but don't be poopy. <laughs> Big pile of poop. <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. Yo, this is wild. There's usually water that runs through. There's usually water that runs through this whole entire thing. But it's actually only right here, right now. <laughs> Well, it's up there too, it looks like. Look. Oh, well, obviously, it's got to be coming from somewhere, yeah. Oh, yeah let's You're go. right, babe. <laughs> let's go find it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get back okay, to you listen, guys. Listen. Oh, is it? It's right there. <laughs> We're like, oh. We're like, where's it coming from? The water's right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's moving. <laughs> Let me take you guys to my new house. <laughs> <laughs> so if we go up here on the staircase, you guys see that <laughs> hey. nice little oh those. No, <laughs> How about this staircase though? <laughs> right? Look at this uh, front lawn you got over here. <laughs> it's premium property. Yeah. <laughs> There's my babes. Free decor. Hey. So I caught a frog. We met a friend. We met a friend. Yay. His I almost is... stepped on oh, him. He's jumping. He's jumping. Ah! Oh, into the water. He's yes. in the water. His name's Albert. <laughs> yes! He's the best swimmer. Just letting everybody oh, he's know. He's on this stick now. And uh, we're going to bring him with us along the journey. Oh, oh wait. No, he, oh my Come God. on, Albert. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> he's back. Don't worry. Here's Albert's Albert. Fine. Don't worry, Albert's fine. He, was, uh, he almost drowned. <laughs> swimming. Taking a swim. Nope. I guess he wants to go back. <laughs> All right. Albert's going back to the water, so. Oh, no. He's going to go on a rock, maybe. Hop off, you little guy. Yeah, what are you doing? Little frit. Ah! Uh, ah! Like, I'm gonna wait till I'm 10 feet above the water, then I'm gonna jump. <laughs> oh my god, he's acting dead and everything. Yeah, they put him, they put him on. Alright, let's go. Continue that is our truck. so funny. Continue our trip. <laughs> Alright, what's up, everybody? I just wanna give you guys an update. <laughs> what's up, baby? <laughs> so, it's an hour and 15 minutes uh, since I drank the smoothie. And I'm fucking, as you guys can tell, oh, Jesus, was, that literally, you can't that plan that right better. There, right? That says it right um, I'm in love with life right now, you guys. So, like, I'm infatuated with life. That's why I make the YouTube videos that I make. What? I said just careful. Oh. 
<laughs> She's if I was so worried Aww. about me all the time. No, I, I am because he has <laughs> it's okay because it's love. And everything in his, in his <laughs> oh yeah, I do all the all the glory, all the stuff because I'm from. actually gonna sit down and uh, have it going and recording while I'm like feeling what I'm feeling and stuff like that. So you guys can just see. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I'm a pretty normal person, even on super high doses of mushrooms. Maybe it's just because I have a big tolerance to it, but I think once you get the message, it's pretty simple. Uh, there's not much chaos in the beginning because that's really all it is when you're taking these higher dose trips is uh, all the chaos in your head and the chaos in the world. But... Um, once you get over it, it's life is just. I didn't mean to do that, but I did it. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll, I just want to let you know I'm feeling it. Shit's crazy, and uh, I'll come back to you guys whenever I come back to you guys. <laughs> Literally. All right, peace. Literally right after talking to you guys. What? What? There was another baby frog. Yeah, he's a baby frog. I just stepped in this fucking rock right here. I stepped in the water, but you know what? I don't really care just because I'm on four grams of mushrooms and it probably would have been something that I would have worried about uh, when I was a younger kid just because of my dad. My dad was like a neat freak, so anytime we'd be out in public or anywhere like that or out in nature, he'd be worried about getting dirty or getting wet when in reality, it's all part of life. <laughs> but checkpoint. Just for the record, this is my home now. <laughs> this is where I belong, and I'm not leaving. <laughs> but for the record, that place is Earth, and I'm not leaving. <laughs> I think that it's important for me to note that even though I am on four grams of mushrooms, that there's still an effort it's still something that requires your attention and your thoughts, you know. So as much as I'd like to document the experience uh, as much as possible, there really isn't much that's physically there, you know, besides what's happening inside. And Yeah, attention. These things are can seem like all fun and games, but attention to your senses and really just paying attention and putting in effort, I think, are super important if you want the most out of uh, life. So, I'll be back, guys. <laughs> Gotta let them get let them see what I see. Type shit. <laughs> That's wild. That's stupid. That's a dumb awesome right there. <laughs> well, careful, there's a lot of houses. So. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not gonna slip. <laughs> I can stop a waterfall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, I stopped the waterfall, dog. You can do anything. <laughs> bro, bro, tell me you can't do something. Look. I stopped the waterfall, homie. <laughs> Alright, I'm out. So I was saying, like what are what are we so afraid of? You know, what are people so afraid of? I feel like we're just you know, maybe not afraid, but we just don't want to do things. You think it's not okay to get in the water and almost slide and 
fall. Oh shit, okay? babe. Because you're gonna be okay. Oh my god. And that's about learning and life. Brought to you by Kenny tonight. <laughs> Fucking cameras can't even capture this shit like your eyes, dude. It's crazy. See, the crazy thing about life is that we're just fucking people, you know? What I, I don't know what's best for you and not a single person on this planet knows what's best for me. I don't know what I was getting at there, but... <laughs> I wanted to document it. That was the point. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what time it is. I'll look. Okay, I remember what I was saying now. <laughs> <laughs> is that nobody in this life knows what's best for you except for yourself and your whole entire life you get brought up around other people and every single person who will try to tell you that life is this or that there's a certain way to be and there isn't there's absolutely no mold to life and you can literally do anything you can be whatever you want to be and I know that that's very cliche shit but the deeper side to that is that every interaction we have with people you know we're just people we don't know everything so you can't when you go out in public that's what I'm like I'm saying to myself and I'm saying to others when we go out in public we can't think that that's the finite version of life because we're just human because we don't know what life is actually about. We, can, we can't know because we're only using 10% of our brain. So when you come out into nature, you know, completely submerge yourself into just be in nature, you know, that's what you start to realize is that your whole entire life you've been told by other people how to live. And there's no way, there's no way to, to live. You can literally be and do anything. And it literally goes down to like the grain, grains of sand. And this is what people don't understand is that like literally this is how morphable your life is. You pick up the dirt, you pick up the sticks and the rocks, and you fucking throw that shit. And that's how malleable life is. And it's just hard to realize that sometimes when we get into these structural kind of cultural patterns that we've been taught. So that's my main message right now, is, is try to get rid, and that, that's what those dudes were talking about, Terrence McKenna and all these guys, that psychedelics break boundaries. They break down the barriers and the boundaries that you've kind of culturally taken in over time. And nature does the same exact thing. So I'm not just putting mushrooms on a pedestal. You come out to nature and it'll do the same exact thing. It's just that mushrooms obviously are on a way you know you, it's just a way higher level you know <laughs> but i wanted to get that out i appreciate you guys i love you guys this is going to be a long video so you're you're in for this one peace Whew. all right what's up guys i'm coming to you on my webcam um i'm not going to really talk or anything uh, this will be like a time lapse period. I just want to see what time it actually is. So it's 5:35 right now. It's been 3:45, 3:45 to 5:35 is like an hour and 50 minutes, babe. That's almost two hours, right? When when was it? 3:45 is when I finished drinking the shake. So if it's the 5:45. If it's 5.36, it's 5.36 right oh, now. It's, on, it's like, yeah, it's almost two hours. So it's been almost two hours. Almost two hours, yeah. 
in like 10 minutes. Alright, so obviously you guys could tell <laughs> I'm feeling it because that was only 50 seconds and I felt like that was like a couple minutes. So you guys know, you guys could clearly tell what level I'm on. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm going to say because I want to eat an avocado. So, okay. <laughs> Grab the water there. That was awesome. Oh. I'm gonna hit this though, so. That was awesome footage, baby. This is awesome footage right here. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, only two hours. That's crazy. Since I finished drinking it. And I do the way I do. Do you want to do it? <coughs> do you want me to do it? You can do it. Are you on mushrooms? <laughs> no. <coughs> Take this piece of the It's just crazy. I love it being recording. It's like kind of like I'm talking, you know, how the third person's there. Yeah. So it's like the aliens already there. The aliens <laughs> in the room. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, I do. <laughs> That's awesome. I love life. <laughs> It's like I've always, babe, you know what I've always wanted to do? Like, document my psychedelic experiences. Because, I mean, life is about having a good time. That's what I want to preach to people. Like, you, like, you're supposed to enjoy life. Yeah. There's no reason to be upset. And I'm, I'm too upset. Mm -hmm. All the time. Yeah, and I need to not be. Because it's not worth yeah. it. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of dope. Like people can see how I, how functional I am, even though I'm on four grams of mushrooms. You know, and you're my, you're my, uh, you know, you're my trip sitter. You're my first hand eyes to this experience, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, I'm, you know, and I'm going off wondering by myself, taking my shit. Like, I know exactly what's going on here, you know? You do, baby. <laughs> I know you do. This guy is so on it. <laughs> but that's really what it's about, though. That's, that's what it's about. I think all of the successful people say it like that like all the people who are really successful on earth you know what i mean and doing good for themselves and doing good for the people around them say that like you have to ask you know ask and you shall receive just like steve harvey you know what i mean yeah. if there's a life that you want to live or a, a, a route you want to go down a thing you want to do all you have to do is ask You know, and I'm not just wanting that shit to just like appear. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't work like that. Or does it? No. <laughs> right. Shit's <laughs> <laughs> crazy, baby. I've been having dreams like this. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. It is awesome. <laughs> well, I mean, like, dreams that feel like this. You know what I mean? Like, dreams where I feel like I'm next to a waterfall, out in nature, just dream. You know? It's just a dream. You know? Where you're just kicking it. And it's just like, that... You know, being here now, it's like, ah. Uh, Huh? He said being here now. Oh yeah, no right. <laughs> Shout out Ram Das. <laughs> Shout out Ram Das. 
<laughs> Still would love to meet that guy. That would be fucking crazy. Even though right. he's like, not really. You have a leaf on your foot, baby. Huh? You have a leaf on your foot. Ooh, I got a lot of surprise stuff on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, hey, we're going back to your mom, so I can jump in the pool or shower. Jump in the pool? Well, I mean, I'll jump in the pool, but I can put my feet in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Am I record? I'm recording still, right? Yeah. How long so. has it been recorded? Can you tell me? Because it's felt like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it was only seven. Ah, see? Time is fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Shit is wild. I would, I, I would kind of be ready to. I mean, maybe in like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. You want to go? I don't know, it's going to start getting super cold. My hands are super cold. Babe, wear my jacket. I got a jacket right there. I got another the shirt. Laptop is on. I don't care. The laptop on the rocks. <laughs> the rap top on the rocks. Here, I can put it on. Put on the right. rap top on the rocks. <laughs> on the rocks. Oh, wait, no, babe. I would have what? a blanket. I'll have it on the rocks. See uh, that she's... You I left know, the blanket in the truck, didn't you? Oh, you did? It's right there. Why aren't you going to use the blanket, then? Because I don't want to shove it back in there. Huh? I don't want to shove it back in the thing. Oh. <laughs> See, that's what they... Oh, my God. What's happening with my fucking... It's not, all this is staying in there, guys. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> we'll see. I'll edit it back. Babe, this is gold. What are you talking about? All of this is gold. <laughs> How's this is it what looking? They, they're talking about when they say you can find a grain of salt. Uh, what the grain of salt? No. Um, infinity in a grain of sand. Yeah, because I got a bunch of salt. <laughs> And I can look at it for a long time. What are you doing, baby? Just trying to get me sadder? I'm done with this joke. I don't need the salt. <laughs> I got more salt. <laughs> I'm trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be. I am fucking hilarious. <laughs> you feel better? I am so, like, connected. It's so crazy right now. <laughs> I'm so on it, babe. I wish you were on mushrooms with me too right now. Like, that would be so worth it. But it's okay. It's okay, baby. Another time. Maybe two grams, yeah? No, I mean, I mean I'll if you did exactly this, exactly this, when I'm on right now, you'd be fucking fine. Like, <laughs> with me, I mean, we just, the thing is that we'd have to be here for like four hours longer you know what i mean you couldn't just up and just decide to want to drive well i mean maybe you could if you thought you could you know because like right now i could drive perfectly fine out of four grams of mushrooms i feel like i could drive perfectly fine i don't want to i wouldn't want to drive right now but if you absolutely had to you you could be you could yeah yeah because you're super aware you're super aware of your surroundings like no definitely baby that's and what people. Well, I know, but even the more the more you take, that's people have bad trips because you become aware of all that stuff that they're holding on to. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know. Maybe that's what Salvia has prepared me. Or Sal Salvia is really good at helping you get rid of all of those demons, so that when you actually come out into nature on a mushroom trip, you can really get it. For what it is and then it is light it just sparks light it's back in the we're back back into go mode maybe you know we're like not yeah. searching we're no longer searching because we know there's no mold we create it we go yeah. as we want and we create what we want you know just like i'm doing right now i'm doing this but i'm literally building a platform you know and doing what i can from where i am mm -hmm. you know and all of this stuff that's going to eventually become an enterprise why? Because I'm going to speak it into existence because I want it. I want it that bad. I'm tired of just living a mediocre life. I'm not that person. I'm not that person. Mm -hmm. This is what I need. I need to be out. I need to be able to be out here for like days on end with nobody. Nobody just like, you know, and just literally like, well, I mean, like, obviously, you know, my baby, but like. Yeah. 
I want that. <laughs> you know, I want that. <laughs> but since you are sober, I mean, or not on Martians, you can't set a time for which we would like to go. It's 5.48. Well, okay, I guess we don't want to be... Because we did walk a good way. Yeah, we did. You know? We took the salt away and just get the little things together. Oh, I know. I'm going to eat this real quick. Okay, yeah. After I'm done eating, I'll get everything together. We got to make sure <laughs> we don't get lost on the way back. <laughs> yeah, That's hilarious. I don't know if this is funny. What am I worried about? There's nothing to be worried about. I'm not worried. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm talking about myself. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I was, like, worried about getting pepper on me. I'm like, why am I? I don't, who fucking cares if there's some pepper on me? <laughs> oh, see, who fucking cares about dropping a, a spoon? Because guess what? <laughs> the, the fucking spoon part that I need to eat didn't even get wet. Oh, my God. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. So I dropped the spoon. Thank you, God. Wow, looking into the camera, it looks like there's fucking eyeballs. Like, wait, wait where are they? Behind right you. Yeah. here. Like there's a fucking eye you can just look in that. <laughs> 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 oh, An eyeball staring at you. That makes sense, though. <laughs> No, babe, you see, babe, on five grams of mushrooms, maybe because four grams, literally four grams of mushrooms and five, for the record, let the record speak, four grams and five grams is a huge margin. People want to fucking say, oh, this and that, whatever. If I was on five grams of mushrooms right now, I would be major hallucinating. I would have to, I'd have to be like this <laughs> for a good, for a good minute. <laughs> And I mean, I'm actually surprised. Four grams of mushrooms, and I have no. Okay, I do, but I guess like once you're so submersed in nature, it's like, what do you what do you need to search for? Sorry, maybe I'm just documenting. No, I'm getting no, little I'm bits just, of footage, just, you know. I'm just <laughs> huh? I'm just listening to you. Yeah, it's like a trip report while I'm on the trip. <laughs> exactly. Mm. <laughs> wow. Trip report before and after. I'm gonna walk around. We'll walk this in this general area just for footage. I can worry about it. We can make anything we want out of life, maybe. That's the point. <laughs> That's the point of living. Is that you're supposed to create anything you want. You know? That's why studying successful people is one of the greatest things that you can do as a living human. Studying successful human beings. You know, people who are the most successful, like The Rock, you know, Kevin Hart, you know, and there's like, there's like, you know, a lot of other people studying successful people and things that they say, you know, Steve Harvey. Those dudes have more money. Imagine if we, babe, they have so much fucking money that they're so in tune with life, they don't give a fuck about dropping, like most of these dudes, this is what I've been thinking about. They're spending hundreds of millions of dollars a year in investments and all this shit, and all they're hearing on return, that's all they're listening to. They don't care. Like they could be spending, oh, we're going to spend, well, oh, maybe not hundreds of millions, you know, but like some of these guys are Bill Gates, for example, Bill Gates. Bill Gates is easily spending billions of dollars, but he doesn't think about that. He doesn't think about the money he's spending. All he sees is the right spending and then income, you know, and then profit margin, you know, they live their lives based off that, you know what I mean? And most of these guys, that's what's happening. They're spending hundreds of millions of dollars. That's what people people are just like, oh, these dudes are just making so much money. Dude, <laughs> you just don't make money. What the fuck are you talking about? They're they're taking major, major risks, major business and entrepreneurial risks and, and going down round you know, like places that to, <laughs> this is great that I'm documenting all of this. But you know, it's just not happening. Like 
No. That's what people don't see, you know? Mm -hmm. But, you know, like I was saying, just studying, you know, successful people. <laughs> it's all about creating your mold mm -hmm. and believing in yourself, baby. And it's so important. Like, that's why I push so heavy, like, don't cling to me, you know, as much as we're in love, you know, oh my god, I'm more in love with you than anything, you know what I mean, but, like, you, as an individual, are so power, like, we can be together still in the same way, but if you don't understand that losing me takes nothing away from you, you know, that's what you have to understand, that's, mm -hmm. that's the real click, you know, Losing me takes nothing away from you because you are this divine, you know, embodiment of spirit and we all are. Yeah. And it's about reconnecting with that truth, you know, and that's something that's really hard to understand when you aren't on the mushroom. I just sound, I just seem like no, I'm no, no, gabbling yeah. on, you know, yeah. but I mean like, I, well, I know you get it because you're my, yeah. you know, you're my baby. It's actually really bright still. Yeah, it is. Probably about that time. I'm done with my avocado. Probably. Yeah, I'm done with my avocado. Oh, here's my phone. <laughs> I'm just going to take it in for like the last couple minutes. Maybe. Is that okay? Yeah. I'll leave it next to the water. I'm just gonna take it in, baby. Okay. Take it all in, babies. Good dog. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like you, no, I thought you know, whatever. I think they like I have Oh no, because wait, here we go. Oh, my foot was better. <laughs> Alright, let me take it. Give me a second. No, oh my god. <laughs> Take it, give me a
lights here are getting still light out. Give me about two more minutes. All right, <laughs> look, I'm gonna end it on this, guys, for right now, because I gotta get shit together, and it just came out of me, like, out of nowhere, but, like, normally, when I would take psychedelics when I was younger, or I'd take mushrooms, or I'd take acid, it was trying to figure out life, it was trying to figure out what everything meant, and figure out, um, basically why we're here, you know, what's going to happen when we die, because, you know, you get blah, 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 everything else, but that was what I thought, is, you know, I, I just wanted to learn everything about life, and that's why I would take psychedelics, and now, in this moment, I realize that we're not supposed to know, and um, we can't know, uh, and that's the beauty of this whole entire thing, is that you can try your hardest, you can do everything in your power to try to figure out why life is happening and you won't be able to figure it out but life will still go on if that's not god i don't know what the fuck is i love you guys and thank you for watching what's up guys so, it's, what time is it, 8 something? Yeah, it's like 8.15. It's like 8 o'clock, so I'm about four hours in. Um, I'm still freaking, what word was I using? Roasted. I'm roasted right now. I'm roasted, guys. Like, <laughs> uh, So, um, <laughs> I just want to give you guys a little update. Uh, we're going to go in, and I'm probably going to, I might get a couple shots of inside, but... Uh, I might just do a final trip report once I get back to the house, but I'm basically almost baseline. I mean, life is the fucking trip, guys. You just gotta build that momentum and you gotta ride your own wave. And uh, it's difficult at first, but as time goes on, uh, you just go off your own energy. So, I'll catch you guys. I don't this lighting's probably not good. You guys probably can't see me that well. I wonder if I put my hat on. Yeah, I put my hat on backwards just, just for this uh, end shot here. It's about an hour since the last video that I recorded. Um, 
I think that was like 8 o'clock, yeah. It's 9 o'clock right now. Um, I'm just exhausted. I'm really tired. But it, I, I think it shows that I pushed myself, you know, and I really, uh, like, pushed my body. And uh, I had a good time, you know, because I'm excited to lay down. And I feel like that's always an accomplishment with some of these trips. Um, when you can find yourself, I think you can find yourself with a lot of these things to want to stay up, you know, and sort of continue the experience or continue the, the fun or the euphoria or whatever it is. But I feel like that it's important to get that rest because, the, you know, the trip is, it is the fun. Yeah, it's part of the fun. But then once you come back to baseline and you come back into reality, uh, it's about realizing like that there's more work to be done and uh, that there's so much opportunity. And uh, it's so important to be clear-headed during that. So I think this is where I'm going to end the video. I may, in the morning when I wake up, I'll probably do uh, record a little bit of footage just telling you guys how I feel and ending the video. Um, I had a really great time. I'm going to have a great time editing this video tomorrow. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all of you guys who have tuned in and watched this whole entire thing because I documented this thing for you guys. So I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.